All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we are taking a look at Dewalk, Cosm, and Tup, all right? First off, man, I hope you see what I see. There is definitely a lot, a lot going on right here, all right? We'll, we'll talk about the really good that could happen, the potential bad that can happen, and for sure, this really odd RSI. I have no idea why this is going down despite that going up. I'll be real honest with you up front, okay? From there, Cosm is another one that caught my eye. I think that one has some decent things going on as well. Again, I think it needs just a little bit more, but it's definitely sitting on the border of what could be a really juicy setup, okay? And look, Tupperware brand. We have not talked about Tupperware in quite a bit. It looks like it's about to take a scary turn, I'll be honest with you all. So um, yeah, that one is definitely, it tomorrow better recover, otherwise it could get really ugly on that one, all right? But before we go any further and I give you more of my opinions, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to the channel, share this video online, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do really does help me out, especially if you can share this thing. It actually does the best, but I swear just being here and giving me your time is super, super appreciated, all right? So look, let's get into it. And one of my bare bone basic rules is above all five moving averages, you fly, below all five, you die. And what happened today? Man, we gapped up over this cluster of three. We are now sitting above all five, right? One, two, three, four, and five right there, okay? The real interesting thing is as well, it obviously gaps up, but there isn't necessarily pump and dump volume. All right, that's actually a really healthy increase from the day before. Obviously, these were all reds and this one was a green, but yeah, I mean, that's a really healthy incline over the last few days, right? So I'm, I'm a little surprised to see such a big pop, especially over three moving averages without like some really silly volume candle that looks like that. Ooh, excuse me, hiccup. So in a lot of ways, I actually think that might give this a little more strength. Let me see what's doing after hours. It's going down a little bit, but insignificantly, it's actually still holding really, really well, okay? Look, if this can confirm, oh man, this thing can fly, all right? Sarah was the one that dropped this to me. I actually did not see this until I saw her comment. She was calling 18, 19 to 22, and I mean, I see it. I have my line at 18 and truth be told, I don't even think that's a good 50% candle. I think I probably should have drawn my line a little bit higher, not significantly higher it looks like, but man, I can easily see this at least coming to 18. And I, I think this is like, where are, let me ask this. What did you open at? This candle opens at 1663 and we're sitting at 1660. One more time, let me click on this. Look at the open, the second line, 1663. I think a really good money line could be 1665. If you're really willing to be just a little more cautious, 16, I, I would just use this number right here, 1687. Get into this candle and all I'm seeing is green, 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 red, 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 might be a real quick green. Look, she threw 22 out and my next line is 23, right? So again, I think Sarah's comments are actually really, really fair. What matters more than today's gap up is tomorrow's confirmation, all right? We really need to confirm well, and truth be told, I need actually a monster confirmation. I actually think I need this to close in the 17s. Even closing right here, like I need it to close like right here, 1730 almost. A good, nice little full candle. Because again, you gapped three moving averages, right? Like let me confirm well. Look, I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna say it again. I have absolutely no idea why the RSI is going down right now. Stock goes up, this goes down. That makes no sense to my simple mind, all right? Like I have always said, I don't know the math behind any of these lines. I really don't even care to learn the math. I just see what I see and I attack accordingly, right? So this is throwing me off a little bit. I can't say that it's not, but this is a really low number. Um, damn, this RSI has literally been just like crazy horizontal tight too. Um, 
interesting. What does your one minute chart look like? All right, you're a good one minute chart. What I don't like is when there's a lot of little dashes like this. I'm glad to see some healthy candles in the one minute. Okay. Um, look again overall I think I think the comments are gonna hold at the minimum we need to crack into this candle and you can see it we're three cents below that all right so I would set the set the alert just a little bit above that again I think this is actually a really healthy one where did that number come from was it just that or was there something else I'm looking at this okay it's the top of this it's the look I actually think it's not gonna hurt to wait for this line again the the 1665 number just if you're a little more aggressive hey it could be okay macd is actually still positive it looks like we hit the 50 moving average but sometimes it's worth waiting a couple extra cents okay interesting weekly chart here people interesting weekly chart we break the 50 we can't confirm it looks like we use the eight moving average to really nicely bounce up and maybe it puts the emphasis onto next week look if it comes down tomorrow it has to stay above 1633 all right 1633 is the lowest i'm willing to let this go where does that put you at yeah well above that 1633 is actually a really good number because that's also above 50 percent candle that's the lowest this can go again ideally we confirm really well that we broke these moving averages and dude again i think her range could be correct next week if tomorrow confirmed truth be told i actually wouldn't want a big pump candle all right that's just me this could really do well with a bunch of just little green 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 candles up like this is a really low rsi it's a healthy macd we still haven't even like consistently broke this i don't want one big pump volume and then dump the rest of it no i think d walk doing well would be a nice little healthy slow walk to that 18 to 22 range all right and then dude what happens after just curious yeah, there's some interesting things happening here because look, it's really easy to say that this downtrend is basically broken as well, right? So this was a really horrible downtrend. Arguably, this could be forming and that actually makes that 18 line a lot more important. If it could break 18, that could be really interesting here. Look, overall, I haven't talked about Donald Trump at all yet, but I think it's the important thing to end this with. Look, I'm not here to talk about politics. I'm not here to care if you're Republican, Democrat, if you don't even know what they are because you're from a different country. Like, I'm not here to talk about politics. We're here to make money. That's the goal, right? If Donald Trump's name is in the news, you got to come to DWOC. That's, 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 it is what it is, right? Like it is what it is. So as long as the Donald is in the news, whether you like him or don't, and I'm telling you, I really don't care. I'll probably delete comments if anyone says like dumb Trump things. Cause like, that's not what we're about. I'm not going to give, I don't, I don't want to waste any nonsense on like politics. All right. But again, the man is carrying weight on this stock specifically all right so take your political like i'll tell you there are people i know that hate smoking weed that they just like despise the the plant as a, as a whole dude if the stock's doing well they're gonna buy it and they're gonna make money on it right like if you hate donald trump that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy this right so just kind of keep that in mind too we're not here to give our personal opinions about things we're here to make money and then run away when it's saying we're about to lose money you get what i'm saying so d walk i like it sarah dropping fire i like it a lot all right Cosm, let's take a look at Cosm. And yeah, I'm, I'm seeing what looks like a potential for red, 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 red to turn into a lot of green, 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 okay? We're now starting to see the RSI curve. I don't know if the green is over the red. No, I, I think I see red over it. What's this MACD number? Yeah, look, red is negative 43. That is better than negative 44, right? So the red is over, but it kind of looks like by tomorrow it should break. Look, we have been well under the eight moving average for a very long time here, okay? It goes under the eight, it comes to the eight, it comes under the eight, it comes to the eight, it comes under the eight, okay? It comes away from the eight, it comes to the eight, it comes away from the eight, it comes to the eight, it comes away from the eight, it comes to the eight. History says this is probably going to go away, all right? 
That said, if we can get over the eight, this is gonna wanna come to the 20. If this can get over the 20, this is gonna wanna come to up here. There is very little stopping it aside from these moving averages, all right? Now, clearly volume looks really ugly, like this sea of red is just disgusting. What I like is this really consistent volume, really since July, all right? Again, horrible sell-off, but consistent, okay? So, um, there's, there's some interesting, where are you after hours? You making any moves? You're a little bit above, not too bad. Again, the, the money line is gonna be depending on your, your risk tolerance, all right? You can make it that eight moving average. You can set an alert at 131, just a couple cents above it, and then hopefully you fly, right? This will be the safest line. Again, there's no such thing as safe or guaranteed, but if you can get and break 140, get hit 141, there's a lot of reason to believe it would go from 141 all the way to like 170, right? That same target. And again, 140 to 170 is still about a 20% a 20 swing, right? Because you're basically adding 15, 15, that's 30, that's 170, that's 20%, baby. So um, again, just sometimes it's not worth getting greedy for an extra 10 cents. Obviously, it's an extra little 10% gain. It's not just 10 cents, so I understand. But yeah, there's a reason why I say some lines are safer than others, right? Get over this. All you got is a whole mess of nothing till this one, right? So um, just some food for thought. But Cosm, one more time. We've been well under the eight for a long time, all right? It's not going to be a guarantee that it's going to get over it, all right? But we've seen moments where it like does at least get to the line. We've even seen moments where it gets to the next one. It gets to the red one and the blue one not that long ago. And the blue one not that long ago, right? So, hey, maybe it'll continue, but... If it doesn't get over this, yeah, it's going to do what it keeps doing, right? Which is just trading well, well under the eight and going nowhere but down, nowhere but down. This thing is in all-time lows if it doesn't recover, right? If today wasn't this green day up, it was going to be a horrible red day down to all-time lows. So not quite there, but I think it's well worth looking here on Monday, all right? Where are we on the weekly? It's an ugly weekly, all right? Nothing but bad, nothing but under the eight and the 20. That said, maybe this will want to make a good little recovery to 222. I think that's a pretty big jump. But hey, if we can get here, believe me, I believe 222 is right after, right? And hey, I think 222 kind of lets us know that maybe these two are going to be a little hard to break. But um, yeah, I'm going to draw that actually. I want to draw this 222. We'll round to 230. Who gives a shit? Yeah, just so like again, I think it, it would make a lot of sense to fill that little gap right there. And if it doesn't, hey, we at least know why. It's from the weekly. But Cosm, I am liking Cosm here. What was the third stock I was going to talk about? Oh, man, I think I might have forgotten. Hold on. I'm going to pause this and let me think about this. Sorry. All right. I just remember. That's how long it's been since I've looked at this. Let's talk about Tupperware. Okay. Tupperware brand. Listen, bad things happen when you lose the eight. All right. I always say good things happen over the eight and the 20. You should be able to bounce on the eight and continually go up. All right. If you lose the eight, we lost it yesterday. I would call this decent confirmation today. That's a, that's a big 8%. A lot of reason to believe Tupperware is actually going to drop almost a full dollar coming down to basically this thing's at 295 and then the 20 is literally a full dollar lower sitting at 274, right? So we have now lost this line. It makes a whole lot of sense that we're gonna come here. Cause look, we went up, we went down, we went up, we go down. It makes a lot of sense to me in all honesty, all right? MACD is starting to curve down. RSI is already curving down. We can see that green is going down and let's be honest, Good, 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 good volume. Bad, 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 bad volume, right? So um, the one cool thing, I will call it cool because it could have been so much worse, so much quicker. This bad volume over the last, what, seven trading days, all it's done is kept it horizontal. So to Tupperware's like credit, it's, it's really held well despite some really bad volume. Again, we were over 200 million shares not that many days ago. We basically dropped to like under 100, let alone under 10,000, under 50,000, right? So the fact that we dropped that much volume and we stayed relatively horizontal, hey, bravo Tupperware. You, you really otherwise would have fallen to down here by now for most other stocks, okay? But again, I think we've lost this line considerably. I think it makes sense that we're gonna come down to here. 
Maybe this 50% candle, no, that's basically what we would, no, I think it's coming down. Yeah, I think we're coming down here. The question's gonna be, can we hold both these lines or are we gonna lose both of these and come down here? Because again, green, 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 green could be a real quick red, 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 red to here, all right? I find it very, very hard to believe this would go any lower than 150. I don't think we're gonna lose all five lines. But yeah, if we lose these two, it will quickly come down here. I got to believe these two are gonna hold. That that would be my opinion. But yeah, overall, this is not looking good. 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 Bad, 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 bad. There's not much more I can do here than assume bad. You know what I mean? And also in general, I assume Friday's gonna be a bad day. So this is a little scary actually, because this is kind of saying, hey, look, I don't think we broke the 50. And the problem is the next line is all all the way down here sub two maybe this holds this like three dollar range basically the the top of this guy and i think we talked about three dollars did we not is that what basically this is yeah that's basically what that is hopefully that holds otherwise man this is actually saying we might come down to the two dollar range which again little higher than coming all the way down here but kind of implying we might actually lose these two lines. So Tupperware, I think there's way more reason to be worried here. I think a lot less people are talking about this too. Obviously the volume kind of signals that as well, right? So when there's interest, it's good. When there isn't, man, bad things can happen quickly. So um, yeah, we talked about the weekly. I think that's about it here actually. So hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, again, thank you, thank you.